We perform an ear cytology test in a consultation when we suspect your pet has an ear infection. Common signs of ear infections are head shaking, scratching at the ears, pain, odour and discharge from the ear. A special instrument called an otoscope is used to examine the ear to note physical characteristics such as exudate accumulation, presence of mites or ticks, and the condition of the tympanic membrane, whether it's intact or ruptured. To collect the sample for testing, we insert a cotton bud swab into the ear and extract some of the discharge. We do not recommend the use of cotton buds, however, at home. They are only used in these circumstances to collect samples. Each ear is sampled with a separate swab to determine if infections are in one ear or both. If the patient's ear is too painful for collection, sedation may be required to make them more comfortable. We want the sample collection to be as pain-free as possible for your pet. Once we collect the sample, it will be smeared onto a microscope slide. We then apply special stains which will highlight the different cells. The slides are then dried with the use of a hairdryer to speed up the drying process. When the slide is dry, it is ready for examination under the microscope. The veterinarian will assess what organisms, bacterial, yeast or parasite, and what inflammatory cells are present. The results of the ear cytology in turn helps veterinarians to decide which medication would be best for use for your pet's ear infection. We may also recommend further testing if we suspect that the organism may be resistant to treatment or if we suspect your pet may have a cancerous growth. A veterinarian is required to perform this test as it requires interpretation at a microscopic level. It is also extremely important that you return for your medical progress exam 10 to 14 days after the commencement of treatment. Although your pet may seem fine and no longer scratching or shaking, a progress examination is important to ensure the problem has fully resolved. Some infections like skin and ears can take two to three weeks or even longer to resolve. We may need to extend or even change the treatment depending on how your pet is responding. During this exam, we will once again take a sample from the ear and look at it under the microscope. If the test shows that no further treatment is required, we will discuss with you a maintenance program to minimise reoccurrence in the future. If you do not return for this progress exam and the problem has not fully resolved, the condition may worsen and we may have to restart your pet's treatment again from scratch. It's best to get it cleared up correctly the first time. A medical progress exam is at a discounted rate if you return at the recommended time.